All eyes are on Hurricane Aaron. Forecasters with the National Hurricane Center will be looking at a new type of data this season, machine learning models. That's right, and the meteorologist Melissa Nord, she sat down with a member of Google's Weather Lab team and shares how they hope that this new technology will one day help to save lives. Can artificial intelligence predict hurricanes better than traditional weather models? That's what Google DeepMind has set out to research. Olivia Graham is a manager for the company's weather lab, which has been experimenting with AI weather forecasting for the past four years. We've got these amazing models produced by NOAA, by the European Center for Medium Range Weather Forecasting, that use the laws of physics to predict forward what the weather is going to be. And our teams ask themselves, could we train a model based on decades of historical weather data to even without access to those underlying laws of physics, infer patterns and predict the future. Traditional weather models use the laws of physics and thermodynamics to model how the atmosphere behaves and where a storm might go. But Google's DeepMind model takes that equation out. They're just looking at pattern recognition of 50 years of data, 50 years of previous storm tracks to predict where Aaron might head. You could see that they might have different predictions yeah. for max wind speed here. But On Weather Lab's website, users can see their machine learning models most likely track and ensembles, which show up to 50 other scenarios of how strong and where a storm might go. Google DeepMind is getting top-notch feedback with a research partnership with the National Hurricane Center. It blows my mind that when I talk to scientists, when I talk to um, our colleagues at the National Hurricane Center who have spent their lives studying hurricanes, that they can't believe how quickly this is moving and how quickly we're starting to see improvements. And so my hope is that this is just the beginning. Although the model shows signs of promise, it still doesn't get to the bottom line for emergency managers. The impacts. Winds are not the top killers in landfalling hurricanes. It's the water, the storm surge, and the inland flooding. That's what we're trying to understand, are what are these big problems where we might have an opportunity to come in and, and really build something that is very, very useful for the community. Meteorologist Melissa Nord, 11 Alive News.